and uh, we'll do our best to answer those as we go through. So if you have questions, make sure you use that chat box and uh, we'll, we'll try to work with you. And, and for those of you uh, that know me, I'm, I'm not the next most technology savvy, so I'm thankful Rachel's here with me this evening and we're gonna uh, get through this kind of slowly but steadily. This is our first time uh, doing something like this at this scale, so uh, we are, uh, we're glad everybody's with us. So, as it says, we're starting out the Market Steer Show. This is the first of four. Uh, the next three nights we'll have shows. We'll do our hawk show tomorrow night, uh, lambs on Wednesday night, and goats on Thursday night. And in addition, uh, we will be posting all the winners uh, from each of the contests each day on our, on our website. If you haven't been there, just go to Google search for North Carolina 4-H Livestock. And on the left-hand side in the column, you'll see uh, Showing from Home Virtual Livestock Show. Uh, and it has all that information posted there. So today we did post the winners of the barn tour. And, uh, and then we'll also post some more tomorrow. So as we, let's get ahead and get started here. Oh, maybe I gotta use the mouse. Okay, so one thing we did want to mention that uh, thankfully Johnston County Youth Livestock was nice enough. Uh, they sponsor t-shirts for every kid that put in an entry for this year. So all of you that have submitted an entry for any species will be receiving a t-shirt. So we certainly want to thank uh, Johnston County Youth Livestock for doing that this year and appreciate their gracious donation. First winner of the evening is going to be show hair. Uh, we had uh, some several contestants there. We're going to recognize the overall winner, and that is Mr. Ross Hennett. And we're glad that uh, he submitted the winning picture there. And kudos to Ross for doing that. We think it starting to our SA winners here. You can see those listed on the screen. Our junior division was Liza Sullivan. Our intermediate division was Jacob Meads, and then Michelle Hartman from Stokes County. Our senior division was Skylar Crocker and then Kelly Finley. Each one of those will re be receiving an award. The actual high person in each division will receive a show stick uh, from Sullivan Supply. And then we also had, uh, we picked an overall SA winner and they're gonna be receiving a Sullivan's Clipper Box, one of the aluminum Clipper Boxes. Uh, and we'll get that to them. And this year the SA winner overall was Jacob Meads from Pastor Tank County. So Jacob, we'll, uh, we'll get with you and get you your Clipper Box here uh, sent out to you relatively quickly. And I'll be in touch with all of those winners as we go through and uh, we'll work to get you your prizes uh, to you as quickly as possible. So with no further ado, we're gonna start into our, our Marcus Steer Show. And tonight, uh, I feel very fortunate not only to have a very qualified judge with us, but a very patient one as we uh, start through this uh, the Zoom deal here and uh, doing it virtually. I appreciate his patience with me as we work through this, but Dr. Scott Griner, a faculty member there at Virginia Tech, uh, many of you may recognize him as he judged the steers here at our state fair a couple years ago. Uh, he's judged livestock all over the country in countless shows and fairs. Uh, so we, we're thankful uh, that he's here to join us this evening. So Scott, before we uh, get started, we'll, we'll go ahead and get into our first class of market steers. We have three entries in the first class. Uh, those entries were Kate Hennett from Wilson County, with a steer weighing 918 pounds. Charles Bunker from Orange County, steer weighing 1,000 pounds. And Sierra Everhart from Durham County, with a steer weighing 1,015 pounds. We'll turn it over to you now, Scott. Well, thank you, Brent. Uh, it's my pleasure to have the opportunity to join you in the first ever uh, virtual show for me and uh, I believe for you as well Brent and I think for all of our exhibitors so uh, let's look on the positive and it's um, it's great to be involved with that and first and foremost uh, congratulations to all the young people that had the opportunity and, and took the time uh, to submit their photos I thought they were well done uh, I think we got a nice set of steers and we're going to talk through those uh, and make some other comments I guess um, Brent, we didn't we didn't uh, we didn't talk about this, but um, and you just said it. Uh, evidently, we're going to take questions as we go throughout the show. Uh, hey, we will flow with those, yeah. They, they got that'd, be a new, ones. that'd be a new thing for me, and I think that's a neat. Uh, so let's do it. Um, uh, if you've got questions about what we're talking about, or or what I uh, think I see or might not have seen, 
chime in there. We'll have a discussion and um, and have some fun with this. But uh, hey, hey, Scott, let's preface that with saying that Walter Earl is not allowed to ask any questions. Okay, uh, that's <laughs> a motion. Um, but uh, now here's our lightweight class, and we'll we'll start here. And I think the way this is going to work, we've got four classes, and uh, Brent will kind of introduce each one and who's in them, and then uh, we've got another slide which we'll um, we'll rotate to. Uh, uh, here momentarily that's got Thank some, you guys, Scott. I went ahead. I'm no, that's you. fine. And, and so we've got these three steers and I guess if we could characterize our lightweight class, uh, uh, a class of steers that are tremendously diverse in terms of their type and kind and as reflected in their somewhat lightweights, I think all three steers uh, just need a little more time on feed and and perhaps have a little different endpoint, perhaps uh, than uh, as we evaluate them today, all of them need just a, a touch more time and a touch more weight and maturity. But with that said, I still think there's some differences. Uh, the calf we start with, uh, Miss Hennett steer uh, that you see there listed on the left, uh, a calf that's tremendously attractive. And I think uh, uh, we've got some quality steers in this show that we'll talk about in each of these classes. And he's certainly one if we just look at him from a quality standpoint. He's one that's tremendously attractive. He's a calf that's uh, ultra correct in terms of his skeletal makeup. He gives us a nice silhouette from the side. Uh, obviously, this calf's lightweight. He's the lightest calf in the show. He's a long ways from being there, as are all three of these calves in this class. But in terms of his muscular shape and his type and his kind, uh, I thought in this lightweight class where we've got three steers that all really need more time, uh, he's the steer that kind of surfaces in terms of his quality. So we can project him out down the road a uh, calf that later this fall, I think, uh, uh, I think's got some future. Um, it just needs some more time. And as we look, evaluate him as a market steer today, he's just not quite there. Young lady steer in second, we might argue is uh, a little more market ready. He's got just a little more uh, softness in his flank. He's got a little more evidence of cover on him. Uh, he's a steer that's probably closer to his end point uh, because based on his frame size and his uh, his build, I wouldn't expect that steer to get real big in terms of uh, uh, his final weight, but a steer that's just a little plainer, he's a little flatter in terms of his muscle shape and design compared to the steer that we start with. Our steer in third, uh, a steer again that's got uh, a lot of future in terms of just needs more time and more feed. He's got the framework and the skeleton, a real long body and a real level hip steer. He's got some shape when you look at his rear view picture that I um, had the good fortune of looking at. I, I might just mention that as we talk about this, Brent. I think uh, all the exhibitors understand uh, that I got three pictures. I got the side view, I got the rear view, and the front view. You're just going to see the side view here in our little uh, show that we're putting on this evening for you. Uh, but we had the, uh, the advantage of seeing all those views. So a nice trio of steers to get us started here in class one, Brent. All right, thank you, Scott. And uh, as he said, he did, uh, and I, I should have mentioned that earlier, that he did uh, see three pictures on each one of them. So he does have that advantage over you all this evening. Uh, and here, it, uh, so he just keep that in mind. As we go to class two here, uh, we'll go through them and not in any particular order as I've announced the names of the kids in this class. Um, but we have uh, Michelle Hartman from Stokes County, still weighing 1,100 pounds. Anna Claire Sullivan from Wilson County, steer weighing 1,100 pounds. Logan Sneed from Johnston County, steer weighing 1,100 pounds. Skylar Crocker from Johnston County, steer weighing 1,120. Anna Brown from Johnston County, steer weighing 1,120. And Alexis Lucas with a steer weighing 1,190. Turn it over to you, Scott, before I flip to the next slide. All right, thank you, Brent. I thought um, I thought our class two, this is the biggest class that we'll work through. And uh, honestly, this this class pr probably provided the most challenge. We've got, um, we've got some nice steers in here. I think as we look through them, um, there's some give and take as we move throughout this class. And we'll talk about that uh, uh, here as Brent flips the slides. I think there's a lot of things we could do in this class. Uh, depending on where one wanted to place their emphasis, et cetera. The other thing that I would, I would share with you, and I think it becomes pretty evident right here in, uh, in our lead slide, is that um, um, it's a little difficult at times, given this format. It's a little different than looking at them in person to try and get uh, uh, your exact eye gauged in terms of what's the exact height on these steers, their proportionality, some of those kind of things. And uh, here's a good example, the, the steer that we're going to lead the class with off, uh, off with, um, 
on our left, uh, that steer's picture is taken from quite a bit further distance than the two calves that stand on the, uh, to the right of him. And, and he doesn't look as big, uh, but given the weights, and I think you begin to gauge him in terms of the young exhibitors and how tall those calves are at their shoulder and some of those kind of things, uh, he fits. And I think where this steer leads the class is he's the most complete. I thought our steers in second, third, and fourth, there was a lot of give and take, and each one of them maybe had some pieces uh, that excelled our class, our, our class winner. Uh, but when we get right down to it, the, the steer in second is the most correct and the best balanced and the best skeleton steer that we've probably got in the entire show. Uh, but to me, that steer is just awfully green yet, doesn't have quite enough evidence of finish. Uh, the steer in first has got more fat cover on him. He's uh, more evidence of that, particularly as you get behind him and look at his tail head and you look at his brisket. Uh, I think he's more muscular and shapely, particularly from behind than the steer that we've got in third. And he's still got a nice look to him. Now, if we change him, that steering first is not perfect. He's a little upright in his shoulder. He's a little off in his knee, and you can see that in his front right shoulder and knee. I'd change that about him, and obviously, we can't get him in motion. I think he would flex fine, maybe just be a little tighter up front than ideal, but uh, this calf in seconds really got some cool pieces. I, I think he's, as I just mentioned, probably the most uh, correct steer in terms of his angles and his joint work and his feet and legs, uh, just a little thin. Uh, just not quite there yet in terms of his market readiness as I read him in terms of the pictures, uh, but he's stout hip. He's big bodied. He's a steer that's really nice in terms of his pattern. Just wish he was a little further along from a market readiness standpoint. I think our steer in third has a little advantage there, a little deeper in his forerib, a little softer in his flank perhaps, uh, but a steer that's a little flatter from behind, a little more extreme in terms of his pattern uh, on a relative basis compared to our, uh, our steers in first and second. Go ahead, Brent, if you want to flip to our, there we go. Um, we just went ahead and, and placed all the steers. Uh, uh, young lady steer that we've gotten forth. Um, this calf is probably as market ready as any steer that we've got in this class. Um, again, a, a nice pattern calf and she's done a nice job uh, getting him presented as you kind of study him. He just looks a little small and just kind of gets out masked in here. When you get the rear view pictures, he's a little flatter from behind. Uh, a steer that just doesn't have quite the mass and substance. Now the two steers that we round out the class with are extremely muscular, very carcass oriented from a muscle shape standpoint. Both these steers are awfully green as I read them in terms of uh, uh, their flank, in terms of their, uh, their twist, and you get back around their tail head. Both those steers need a little more time on feed. I think our steer and fists a little more correct in terms of his skeletal design. He's more flexible and, and got more, uh, ang more correct angle to his hock and rear pastern and a little more depth of flank than the steer we round off with. Uh, I wish you could see the rear view picture on our, our steer that we round out this class with because he's really thick and muscular. Uh, I just like to redesign him in terms of the way he's structured out of that rear third. Uh, but a big ended, big top calf, uh, again, that the young man's uh, done a nice job presenting. All right, thank you, Scott. Uh... We'll go ahead to class three. These will be steers weighing 1275 to 1350. We had four entries. Uh, Liza Sullivan from Wilson County, steer weigh 1275. Micah Bozeman from Nash County, steer weigh 1300. Sloan Hennett from Wilson County, steer weigh 1325. And Ross Hennett from Wilson County, steer weighing 1350. Good, Brent. I think uh, a nice cast class of steers in terms of depth and um, a lot of good to the, all four of these steers, I thought. Uh, while there's lots of differences, I think all four steers have a lot of good to them uh, and a lot of practical things that, that we can talk about. So if you flip the slide there, we got, um, I thought a calf that, that tied a lot of really positive things together was our class winner here in class three, uh, a steer that certainly um, when you first uh, pull him up on the on the slides that Brent sent me and you look at him, he's just kind of got that show steer look about him, but more importantly, he's got a practical look. He's big bodied. He's a calf that looks to be well fed and market ready. Uh, if you get behind him, there's a steer that's big in his upper hip and square and wide stifled um, and just good in terms of his underline and, and yet uh, fresh in terms of his appearance. He's got that look that he can get out and, and go structurally. I guess if we change him just a nickel, I'd change that left rear foot. Just looks like he might be a little off in that, uh, that foot and pasture, and I'm being real critical, and we're doing that off pictures. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He certainly got the look. He certainly has um, the mass and substance and market readiness with a really nice, attractive design. 
uh, a calf I liked an awful lot. From there, there's three different kinds of steers. The, the, uh, the young person steer here in second, that rascal's probably uh, got every bit as much uh, a frame as we'd like him to have, just based on uh, uh, his size as you look at the top of his shoulder compared to the young person uh, at the halter. A bit of big rugged design steer that's got a lot of bone. He's really deep bodied. He's a steer that's deep and thick from behind. A lot of product in him. He certainly doesn't balance and have the attractiveness of a steer uh, that would lead the class with or have the muscle expression. But I think he's got more product in him than our steer in third. And I think he's softer and got more market readiness compared to our steer in fourth. Nice calf in third that's just a nice middle of the road steer. I think he looks like he's market ready and been well fed. He's shapely from behind. He's maybe not um, quite as big bodied and quite as easy feeding compared to the steer we got in second. But compared to our steer in fourth, I thought he was a little softer bodied, a little deeper flanked, got a little more evidence of fat cover around his tail head and in his brisket. Uh, young man's steer that we got in fourth, this rascal's muscular. There's no question about that. You can read his top shape. He might be as muscular and shapely as any calf down his top uh, that we've had in the show. Uh, um, in the entire show, but this steer just awfully green. Uh, he just doesn't provide quite enough evidence of market readiness as I read him. A little coarser in his tail head, he's a little shallower in his flank, not quite as much in his brisket, but a very muscular calf uh, that has a lot of length of body. I just like to see him a little further along uh, from a um, market readiness standpoint. All right, thanks again, Scott. And we'll move right on into our fourth and final class of the day. Uh, we had two entries in our heaviest class. Uh, they were Jacob Meese from Pasquotank County with a steer weight of 1375 and Kelly Finley from Orange County with a steer weight of 1400 pounds. Good, nice pair of steers in our heavyweight class. Uh, we'll start with the young man's uh, spotted steer there. Uh, um, just again, a lot like uh, in the previous class, I think he'd fit in there nicely in terms of those, uh, those cattle that are that are um, stout ended and wide based and they're big bodied and they have some dimension to them and yet they're market ready and been well fed. This steer uh, fits that, that uh, bill from all those standpoints and uh, he's really fresh in terms of his appearance. I compliment the young man. He went ahead and got him ready and fitted up uh, and looks good in the picture. He's not the fanciest one that we've talked about uh, in the show uh, in terms of just his smoothness of shoulder or his neatness up through his front end but I think he's practical in terms of being square built, wide based, big bodied, having some market readiness and being really thick. Them ladies uh, steer in second, we appreciate uh, that calf as well. Uh, again, a trim made steer that's uh, really high cut ability, uh, a steer that's maybe just a little bit more cut up in his flank and a little frailer to uh, uh, in terms of his appearance and not quite as much mass and substance, but uh, uh, a calf again that's um, achieved market weight and we appreciate that and got him uh, in the right target zone from that standpoint. So we'll, uh, we'll get ready to wrap this up with the championship drive here. So we didn't have a real big show, uh, Brent and, and others. Um, I guess uh, just thinking a little bit about this, I, I um, wanted to say thank you again for the opportunity to, uh, to join you this evening. It's been fun, my first experience with a virtual stock show. Um, and, um, and it worked pretty well. I want to compliment the young people and their families uh, for doing a good job of putting those pictures together. And I think, uh, I think represented the cattle really well. You know, thinking about this a little bit, uh, um, it's been a challenging six weeks for all of us. And I particularly feel for you, uh, you young people and, and you families that um, uh, you've had these steers on feed for uh, uh, several months. Um, you put in a tremendous amount of work. Uh, and then we get right here at the end, and unfortunately, we don't have those uh, conventional ways that we can uh, uh, put these things on display and and have the opportunity to meet in person and and showcase what you've done. But um, uh, I guess in in real briefly, I just say that that we're off engaged in life with um, we're, we're throwing lemons a lot, and and how we're able to uh, make lemonades out of lemons off oftentimes is is, is how we gauge uh, our success in life and how, um, and how we can move forward. And so I'd highly encourage you and I wanna congratulate all 15 of you that, um, that took a lemon and made lemonade and made the most of this opportunity. Um, you've done an excellent job with that. Uh, it's neat to see that uh, you know, you're writing essays and, 
and those kind of things. And, and I know Brent and his uh, colleagues there are, are doing everything in their power to, uh, to recognize you and reward you for your hard work and, and everything that you've accomplished. And I just want to applaud you for, uh, for doing that. Um, you know, uh, the other thing I, I just encourage you to think about is I'm sure you've, you've spent lots of time in the barn um, over the last several months with these steers. Uh, with your family and your friends and your siblings and uh, and nobody's going to take that time away those are the best times of your life and and, and so congratulations on that and, and enjoy the moment and uh, it's been a really nice steer show i think as we just wind down here brent i think uh, there was one steer in here that hit me pretty hard in terms of his quality and putting it all together what i look for and that's steers that are compositionally right and steers that have a lot of um, balance and appeal and skeletal correctness to them and that's the young lady steer out of class three that red and, or yellow steer will be uh, be your champion virtual steer this year congratulations to her so congratulations to Liza Sullivan with the champion steer this evening we bring back a second place steer out of class three and we'll let Dr. Griner pick a reserve now yeah that's uh, I think for reserve it gets a little closer there's a little more give and take uh um, our, our second place uh, out of class three was a big, useful, powerful steer that we talked about. He's maybe just a nickel planer. I think the one that, that most closely follows our, um, our champion in terms of his body type, uh, rib shape, market readiness, and just sheer uh, dimension uh, will be our heavyweight steer out of class four. Congratulations to that young man. So again, we congratulate our winners uh, this evening. Our champion steer goes to Liza Sullivan from Wilson County. And the reserve champion will go to Jacob Meads from Paspatank County. Uh, those young people, Liza's going to receive a Sullivan's Turbo fan, and uh, Jacob's going to actually receive a Clipper box. Uh, we'll be sending his way uh, for his efforts this evening. So as we get ready to wrap this up, I, I want to take just a minute and thank Dr. Griner for taking the time uh, to look through all those pictures and, uh, and be with us this evening. This is something that uh, we kind of put together and uh, we, we were pleased with the participation we had. Hopefully we'll, we won't ever have to do this again, but uh, we learned from the experience and uh, we we'll appreciate the kids that took the time to participate. And uh, we will post the results and post this Zoom link on our website in the coming day, uh, along with this slideshow. So anybody wants to take a look at that. We'll get that on our website. So we won't take any more time. Thanks again, Dr. Griner, for your time this evening. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Brent. Enjoyed it. You bet. Y'all take care. Everybody have a good evening. And uh, we'll be in touch. We'll do it again tomorrow night. Same time, we'll do the hog show. Good night, everybody.